Hey there, I'm doing okay. Not great, not good, but okay. And I want to assure you that if things do get bad enough again, I will go to the hospital again. Um, I know that when I get <clears throat> those feelings, it's time to do something uh, and not let the emotions completely take over my decisions. Um, I have OCD really bad. And the OCD is what triggers the panic for me. And right now my mind is obsessed with uh, political things. It's obsessed with... Well, uh, probably within a year, I'm probably going to lose uh, my disability income. I'm... I'm probably going to lose my medical. My mother could lose her, uh, her survivor benefits. Things are looking pretty bleak for me. And it's hard to remain positive through that. It's, it's very hard. Trump has made it clear, very, very clear, that he wants to reduce the number of people who are on disability income. He's made it very, very clear. And, you know, the last time I was re-evaluated, um, you know, it was just, it, it, I was already a step away from not being approved again. Trump pushes this stuff through, I, I, I don't, I, I see there may be being a 2% chance of me being able to ha continue having income. And then there's all the stuff that I've already talked about ad nauseum when it comes to the LGBT community. And everyone trying to assure me, no, no, Trump Trump cares about gay people. He he hates Islam, therefore he loves gay people. He's going to take care, he's going to make sure that external uh, 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 ideologies, that's not the way he worded it, but that's what it means. External ideologies aren't going to negatively affect gay people, but um, he doesn't he doesn't he hasn't offered a single word of uh, domestic policies affecting gay people he hasn't he hasn't mentioned a word about that it's all about Islam and so I'm supposed to believe that he cares about gay people because he hates Islam and a lot of you out there are pushing forth uh, you know Islam is the worst thing in the world and it really 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 sounds closely similar to um, people saying things about Jews. Um, and, you know, throughout this past year, I've seen people actually make the claim, well, we should put, uh, we should put Muslims into camps. And the cult of personality that Trump has. Massive cult of personality. And Trump knows this. Trump Trump has researched this. Trump knows how cults of personalities, uh, how people react to that. And he's counting on that. And I've watched society change to these extreme degrees. There's just, there's no point in trying to talk about anything related to actual social justice anymore, because we're not going to have any of it in the next four years. That's, that's, that's toast. The whole concept of that is toast. Um, any hope for the betterment of minorities is toast. It's hosed. It's gone. 
We're not going to have that at all. We have to wait four years. And, and the only thing we can do is to maybe uh, help stop... Uh, sorry, I've got stuff going on in the background. There's some messages someone's sending me. Um, we can maybe, you know, get involved in some organizations that can help keep rights from being taken away. Advocacy groups for disabled, advocacy groups for the elderly, advocacy groups for the poor. And that's all we got now because this administration will is not going to help them and only has a chance of making lives shittier for them. You know, uh, right now I would be very happy with another Bush administration, either Bush. I would be happy with a Reagan administration, more than happy. I, I'd, I'd be overjoyed if that's what we were facing, but that's not what we're facing. There's not going to be compromise in this, uh, in this uh, administration. There's not going to be compromise. Trump has come into this with the idea that he's going to be more like a dictator. Now, the position that he's in is going to prove is going to show him, uh, no, you can't really act fully like a dictator like you want. Uh, you you must follow certain rules. That doesn't that isn't going to stop him from trying. That isn't going to stop the Republican-controlled government from pushing forth things they've been trying to push forth for years that have been vetoed and uh, stopped at every turn. It's not going to stop them this time. So, you know, I when there are when I can't even go to a any video right now on YouTube without seeing at least three videos in the recommended uh, side area I can't go to any video without seeing at least three of people making fun of those who are really really hurt by the idea of Trump being elected with the type of people that Trump likes to surround himself with Videos where it's just oh, compilations. Look, it's SJWs crying. Well, not everyone who who is crying is an SJW. Some people, some of these people, used to stand up for straight people. Some of some of these people used to fight for your rights. And now that you're just laughing at them because they're hurt, they're crying, some people have killed themselves. There's people, there's a couple people that I know on Facebook that I, I still don't yet know and we're still, people are still trying to find out information as to whether they killed themselves. There are uh, 10 transgender people who had killed themselves. And I understand that some of, well, you know, we want, we really want the real proof of this. Well, that's, that's fine, but there are also a lot of the people who have, when this sort of thing happens, they're not going to want to make it some big public thing. They're already, their families are hurting, their friends are hurting. So even if only two out of the ten actually committed suicide, you know, we don't need to be like gluteus who post messages on Facebook uh, making fun of the people who had committed suicide. In fact, he said, oh, well, the people who uh, committed suicide, they're the reason why Trump got elected. You know, it, it, things are so incredibly polarized that right now that 
if you support gay rights, you're an SJW. If you support women's rights, you're an SJW. If you support black rights, you're an SJW. That's what the, uh, that's what the climate is like now. And you think I want to be a part of that? I'm really close to moving my YouTube account over to, um, uh, a Google account that I don't use. Then I can always keep the comments open and you can bitch and moan about whatever I've said and I don't have to look at it. Um... Because th this, is, this is the reality of things right now. Well, you have to say that Islam is the worst thing that has ever existed and it is a horrible threat to the United States or you're an SJW. You have to speak against women's rights or you're an SJW. You have to speak against black people's rights or you're an SJW. You have to praise the police or you're an SJW. And you have to say that white people, all white people are wonderful, or you're an SJW. And that's just not a platform I'd like to be on. I think I've been pretty reasonable most of the time about this stuff. Um, but at this point, I can't be. I can't be anymore. My, my reasonability has just kind of come to an end because everyone else's reasonability has seems to have come to an end on this platform. So I, I don't really see much of a point in continuing, uh, at least for a while, not forever, but for a while on this platform. I just don't see a point. And I gotta say, you know, taking a break from social media is rough. It's like, it's like, some on a mental side, the mental withdrawal is severe. It's it's as bad as you know some of the the worst drugs. It's, you know, the mental side. It's not obviously doesn't have any physical withdrawal effects, but you know, so this is hard. This is difficult. But for my health, I need to stay away for, for quite a while. Um, you know, I had talked about how toxic this platform was becoming. I talked about how society is, seems to be changing. And it is. You know, because now we have, you know, we have people that make fun of, of trans people killing themselves, and that's considered okay. It's, it's perfectly reasonable to make fun of people who kill themselves. Well, you're killing yourselves over some, over some political thing. You know, there's a reason why politics does affect people's lives, and that's because the laws that get passed by certain mindsets, the, the attitudes that are around, do affect people directly. And some of you seem to have forgotten that. Except when, uh... <laughs> Somebody said something negative about white people. We're going to, we're going to lose our heads over it. Oh no, a black person said something negative about a white person. <laughs> you lose your heads over it. Then, when we get a president who puts in people who are who are the most fundamentalist religious out of the GOP and minorities the LGBT community is not supposed to be concerned oh stop your whining well you know if i stayed on this platform i would probably be continually making fun of people who are whining because someone dared to say something negative about white people. And I don't think you'd enjoy that very much. Because then I would be acting more like an SJW. 
the climate that's here now, it's just, it's so polarized. That's the only way to speak against what's going on. And I don't have interest in that. So taking a break, I, I hope I can, I can take a break for a long time because this is, this is like a drug. So, so I'll repeat again, I'm okay. I'm not great. I'm not good, but I'm okay. And you know, if I if I get those kinds of suicidal ideations again, I will go to the hospital again. Cuz I know that's I know that suicide is not the right answer. So, thanks for your support.